Hello everybody and welcome, my name is Gara Bentena. Today here on this amazing Yu-Gi-Oh! video, we are going to be going over the combo tutorial for the Gemini FTK deck profile that we that we posted yesterday. Um, that deck profile should be linked somewhere on the screen. And so without further ado, let's get on to the combo tutorial. So with this combo tutorial, we're gonna, you need in your hand one of the two vanilla monsters the rescue rabbit and then a gem knight obsidian and so it doesn't matter which of the two normal monsters it is um, just depends on how you're going to play the combo so we're going to normal summon rescue rabbit tribute rescue rabbits effect to special out two of the other vanillas that you don't have in your hand so in this case we're going to do two lapis and we have two other random cards in our hand that don't really matter in this scenario. Um, they will matter later on because you're going to discard one of them, but that is A-OK. -okay. So from here, what you're going to do is you're going to link away one of the lapises for Link Spider. Put Link Spider up here. Link Spider's effect to special out the normal monster from your hand. Then you're going to link that normal monster into Phantom Quartz. Phantom Quartz will then allow you to search out your Gem Knight Fusion card. There you go. Now, and then you're going to play your Gem Knight Fusion to fuse off Obsidian and Quartz to summon out your uh, the Earth one, that Gem Knight, the uh, Zirconia. Then Obsidian is going to activate its effect to special out the Thunder Earth one. Now from here, you can go into Curious. And Curious is going to send Block Dragon to the graveyard. And then it's going to mill three. The mills do not matter for the combo, you don't need to mill a certain amount of cart, or well, you mill three, but you don't need to mill um, certain monsters out. So we're just going to mill out three cards to make this as optimal as possible for us, just for the purposes of the tutorial. But it doesn't really matter what you mill because there's enough extra cards in the deck to make it worth it. So there we go. And then um, from here, what you're going to do is you're going to banish three earth. So we'll do Zirconia, Obsidian, and Quartz to special out your block dragon. And then we're going to banish a Lapis to add Gem Knight Fusion back to our hand. We're gonna link the block dragon and the Curious into a proxy dragon and the reason why we want to do proxy dragon is it's a light for seraph knight and then when block dragon is sent to the grave you can add three monsters that levels equal up to level eight or sorry you can add monsters up to th uh three that equal level eight so we're going to add a lapis which is a level three Obsidian, which is a level three, so that's six. And then we're going to add ourselves a Crystal Rose, which is a level two. And the reason why you want Crystal Rose is because it'll help you recur some of the normal monsters later on. So from here, you're gonna use Gem Knight Fusion to fuse Lapis and Proxy Dragon for our good old friend Gem Knight Seraph Knight for that extra normal summon. For the extra normal summon, we're going to normal summon Rose, activate Rose's effect to then ditch ourselves a Lapis, which Lapis will add back, uh, or sorry, to ditch a Lazuli, so then Lazuli will add back Lapis. And then from here, what we are going to do is we are going to link the Crystal Rose, which name is now Gem Knight Lapis and Gem Knight Seraph Knight, for our second Phantom Quartz. 
And then we're going to activate Crystal Rose's second effect to banish the Seraph Knight from our grave to special out our Crystal Rose. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pay a thousand life points for our Phantom Quartz to shuffle back three of the Gem Knights that are in our banished pile. So in this case, we chose the Quartz and the Lapis and the Obsidian which will then allow us to uh, fusion summon Lady Brilliant Diamond to this far zone. And so as you can see, we have our Phantom Quartz, our Lady Brilliant Diamond, and our Crystal Rose. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna activate our Gem Knight Fusion to fuse Lapis and Obsidian to summon out our Lady Lapis Lazuli. Obsidian is then going to special out our Tourmaline that we had in Grave over to this zone. And then we're going to banish three more Earth. So an Obsidian, a Lapis, and a Gem Armadillo. Banish those to special out block dragon and the reason why we want to do that is because if we don't special out block dragon then lady uh, lapis lazuli can get hit by ghost ogre block dragon protects that so now we activate lapis lazuli to banish or to send from our deck to our graveyard a gem knight lazuli to burn our opponent for 500 damage per special summoned monster on the field. And so in this case, we have six monsters, five in the main monster zone and quartz. So we're burning our opponent for 3000 damage. And then Lazuli is gonna let us add back Lapis to our hand. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to activate Crystal Rose's effect to send a Lazuli, which should be our third Lazuli out of our deck to the grave to add back a Lapis. That way we don't have to worry about that. So we're gonna add back this Lapis to our hand. We're gonna banish Lazuli to add Gem Knight Fusion to our hand. So now in our hand, we have double lapis and then our two random cards plus this board. So now we're gonna activate Lady Brilliant Diamond, sending Lapis Lazuli to the grave to summon out Master Diamond. And now what Master Diamond is gonna do, Master Diamond is gonna banish Lazuli to copy the effect. We're gonna activate Master Diamond, sending the second copy of Lazuli from our uh, extra deck to the graveyard, burn our opponent for another 3,000 damage. Now we're going to link our Phantom Quartz and our Crystal Rose for a Nightmare Unicorn. And then with Nightmare... And, and then with Nightmare Unicorn, what we're going to do is we're going to discard one of those two random cards that we had in our hand from the beginning of the duel, spin back Master Diamond and then activate our Gem Knight Fusion, fusing our two Lapis and the Tourmaline into our Master Diamond again. And we're gonna move over the Block Dragon just so we can get everything in frame. And now with our Master Diamond, we can banish our second Lapis Lazuli from our graveyard to copy its effect Activate Master Diamond, sending a Gem Knight from our deck to the graveyard to burn our opponent for 2,000 damage, which exactly burns our opponent for 8,000 points of damage. We could essentially uh, make it to where we did more damage if our opponent had monsters on the field, that sort of thing, but this should kill your opponent for 8,000 points of damage, FTKing your opponent without having to worry about anything. 
And yeah, that is it for the combo tutorial. I hope you guys did enjoy. There are other ways to do this combo, but this helps you start off with understanding kind of the mentality of playing the deck. So if you guys have any questions, make sure to leave those in the comment section below and make sure to check out the deck profile as well that I posted yesterday. But that's going to be it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure to subscribe to look at and check out my other deck profiles that I'm posting. And leave a like if you guys liked the video. That's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.